Just speaking, how can I help? Oh, hello there. I've had a um, a notification of attended bailiff removal for £424 for a Marks and Spencer's car park. Uh, could I speak to somebody, please? Just repeat that yeah, basically, please. White and Co. The bailiffs have said that you are employing them, yeah, to send them out to my house with intended bailiff removal to consider removal of my goods for a yeah. Marks and Spencer's car park that I stayed in for too long, apparently, and I'm not really happy about this. It's the property that you're in council? No, it's my own property. Okay, yeah. Um, just going to have a little search for you to pop you through to. It won't be a moment. Thank you. They can't get away with um, the bullshit of the third dimension, basically. <laughs> it's just bullshit. Just bullshit. It's just a game. This is just a game. Um, my life is mostly spent now in creating the new world and um, this is just it's just crazy the amount of people uh, that get they get frightened and coerced into these kinds of letters is just um, not acceptable but you know we're in we're in end times and new beginnings and um, of course these people are buying into the system that's been around for for, for so long and those of us that are awake and, and know where we are and where we're going. It's a really, um, it's quite an entertaining, amusing one to, to play. And it always has been for me. It's never, ever made sense. This whole, um, this whole kind of corporation top down way of being has never, ever worked for me. Um, society has been fooled into a slave m m mindset that's, uh, that's not serving humans to shine their own lights and be who they really are. And that affects every area of their lives, even down to sexuality, you know, and porn and the repression of, of women and men in, in many ways, because men don't know how to treat women and women don't know how to be women. And no one knows how to activate their, their true essence unless they're conscious and awake and have done a lot of work. And this work isn't taught in schools, or at least it wasn't. I'm sure a lot of the conscious parents now that have taken their children out of the system are going to be living very, very different lives now. And of course, they're trying to make it very, very difficult for people to take their children out of school now. On every level, every system, every corporation. Hello? Is, um, is wrong for, for, for a human being. Hello? Hello. Oh, the music's going stuck. So I'm just, I'm just not playing the game, you know. Um, we own the land. It is our land, not, not, not their land. It, land isn't there to be bought and sold. It is, it is our land. Um, and if Marks and Spencer's. Hi. Um, can I just confirm that it's definitely related to a car park in? Just parking in an MS car park. So just well, it's to it's out. it's St Albans City and District Council, and it's got my yeah. vehicle registration number on it. Oh. And somewhere, I don't know where, I read that it was the car park at Marks and Spencer's. And do you, would that be the St Albans one? Yes. I hardly ever park in there. To be honest, sometimes it does not even working. But it did say that I'd overstayed my time. Well, quite um, honestly, um, issue in bail sorry. And they're issuing bailiffs. It's not. They're just issuing the bailiffs. Time. They're issuing bailiffs. He's already knocked at my door once. Um, oh, wow. I do have a um, an autoimmune disease, which means I need to get to the toilet. Um, yeah. I don't spend my time in town. I avoid the town like a plague. I don't go in Marks and Spencers very often. I don't. I'm not a shopper. I don't go around the shops because I've got nothing better to do. Um, yeah. And getting this sort of people knocking on my door, threatening to take my goods to satisfy an outstanding liability is not, uh, not, um, not on in my book. <laughs> Sorry. No. Yeah, apologies to this. I'm just trying to work out like to put you through to the parking game because it doesn't really. <laughs> I can't work out. Well, could you phone White and Co? Because apparently they work for you, 
And I've just spoken to a very nice man who said you need to talk to the council. Uh -huh. So why don't you call White and Co? I can give you the number and then get back to me so that you know what it's okay. about because I don't know what it's about, but you will because you've employed them to, to deal with it. Yeah, but I'm um, just a switchboard. So oh, you're just me. a switchboard. Yeah. Do you have somebody who's not just a switchboard? <laughs> I'm going to just see if anyone's available. Thank you. I think, it, I think it would definitely be the parking team, though, so just try and pop you through to that. Thank you. You see what I mean? I'm just a switchboard. And I sit here all day long talking to people who are singing their song in it. So I just bought a hair dryer blower for my to wand my my water with. So this is my my water that sits underneath the hairdryer stand and then I use my magic wand and I blow that crystal quartz blue light technology with a terahertz technology frequency onto the water for about two minutes and I am buzzing things to do than this god they've given me till the 5th of august let's see what the council have to say nice music anyway from st albans district council so that's nice no wonder she was so understanding she's just the switchboard i think she should have added the word girl at the end of it i don't think she's just a switchboard. I think she's probably a beautiful human being who might have just split up from her girl, her boyfriend or her girlfriend. <sighs> I had to get my son added to my insurance. We're driving to Devon tomorrow for my sister's, sister's 60th and I had to um, get my son put on my insurance for my car. That won't be going on for long, I tell you, but one thing at a time. And I phoned up, had to give his name, and he goes, um, I said, you know, Matthew, Matthew Taylor. And he goes, um, is, that a, is that a mister? <laughs> well, Matthew Taylor, my son, always was a mister. I said, I said uh, these days you just don't know what's going on, but I've never been asked that before, you know. Sometimes, well, always for women, is, is it a miss or a missus? But if they're asking men now if a man is a mister, <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? Come on, hurry up. I've got things to do. I've got oil to send to people. I need to do my blower, wash my hair, pack my bags, sort out my bailiff's removal, sort out British gas. Uh, <laughs> Eat my organic dark chocolate. No, I've had my I've had my allocated amount for today. Actually, I've had a bit more. Um, come on. Mm. What else have I got to do today? Oh yeah, I'm getting my nails done, and I've insisted they wear gloves, which is a bit annoying for them. But um, I want plastic gloves, please. When if you're gonna, I don't want people touching me with their with their vaxxed fumes coming out of their fingers onto my skin. Thank you very much. So what did I have from British Gas today? I've had more threats from British Gas today while we're at it. Hiya, um, I've been trying to get through to parking, but it's going straight to voice, but it appears that they're all cool. Would I be able to pop you through and you can leave your name and number and they'll give you a call back this afternoon? Yeah, I guess so. I'll just pop you through. Thank you. Thank you. Do catch up later then, won't we?